this visit by the Prince and Princess of Wales to a royal variety performance in London was to be their last official engagement together. Not that many knew it at the time, though people at the presentation said the couple did look strained. Not surprising when you consider what was to come. Madam Speaker, the House will wish to know that the decision to separate has no constitutional implications. The succession to the throne is unaffected by it. The children of the prince and princess retain their position in the line of succession, and there is no reason why the Princess of Wales should not be crowned queen in due course. The Prince of Wales' succession as head of the Church of England is also unaffected. Neither the prince nor the princess is supported by the civil list, and this position will remain unchanged. Madam Speaker, I know there will be great sadness at this news, but I know also that as they continue with their royal duties and with bringing up their children, the prince and princess will have the full support, understanding and affection of this house and of this country. The day after the announcement, Diana was carrying out an engagement alone and getting wholehearted support from the crowds. Nothing, it seemed, had diminished her popularity on the streets. On the surface, at least, it appeared that she'd got everything she'd wanted. The children would be with her at Kensington Palace. Charles would be staying at Clarence House with the Queen Mother. She would continue with her work for the various charities she was involved with and have a small private office of her own. One day, according to the official statement, she could even be queen. But there were those who were deeply sceptical about that idea. Still, in the battle behind the scenes, Diana looked the winner. Prince Charles, on the other hand, on his first outing, didn't get such a good press. Public sympathy had been hard to win back after the stories about his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles. There were those who were calling on him to renounce the succession in favour of his elder son, Prince William. How much all this will affect the attitude of the British people to the monarchy remains for the future. There's no doubt that 1992 inflicted a grievous blow to its credibility. And there's no guarantee that one horrible year for the royal family won't be followed by another as they head into new and largely uncharted waters.